the craft has an extremely narrow fuselage and a cockpit the size of a bathtub, but a wingspan similar to that of a Boeing 777 passenger jet, the better to hold its 12,000 solar panels. And now it's passed a stiff test. The Solar Impulse plane has completed its first round-the-clock flight, collecting enough energy from the sun during the day to fly all night. The team behind it doesn't see solar technology replacing conventional jet propulsion anytime soon, but it says this does open doors to new technology, demonstrating emission-free air travel is possible. Project co-founder and record-breaking balloonist Bertrand Picard spoke of the achievement just before the plane came down. So it's clear for Andre, as it is clear for us, that what we wanted to prove has been proven. Then it was time for the actual landing itself. Pilot Andre Borschberg steadily guiding the plane down to a Swiss airfield Thursday morning, the same place where it had taken off more than 24 hours earlier. Crews were standing by to grab a hold of the massive wings to ensure they didn't scrape the ground and topple the craft. One meter. Those waiting on the ground reserved their cheers for when pilot Borschberg emerged from the plane, getting a bear hug from Picard with both men sporting wide smiles. Picard said now they can face down the skeptics. After landing, we have the credibility. After landing, we have shown that with renewable energies and energy savings, you can achieve impossible things. So there is a before and after in terms of what people have to believe and understand about renewable energies. Picard's team is looking ahead to a jump across the Atlantic before they try and fly a solar plane around the world. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.